Yeah. Very nice occasion. Nice We're here for the uh, groundbreaking of our West Fargo facility. Basically, this building was designed for roughly 100 people. We've got 170 some people in the building today. We're designing it for upwards of 320 people. World leading companies are the ones that invest not only in their people, but in their facilities to facilitate the kinds of attributes that they really want as a group and as an organization. Uh, we set out many years ago to try to create more good paying jobs for people in North Dakota. And this is another sign of the success that we've had. Uh, last time we talked, it was about the $28 million acceleration center, which is the finest R&D facility for this kind of construction equipment, not just nationally, but in the world. Since 2000, North Dakota has grown our exports by almost 800% compared to only 100% nationally. That's eight times the national rate of growth, and it's happening because of great companies like Bobcat making these kinds of investments. And we invest in the community in many ways. It isn't just a building. Investing in the community includes our community service events that we do on a regular basis, how we contribute our personal time. Uh, it's a great day that they're expanding here in West Fargo. And uh, they've been a part of the community for a long time. I'm so thankful that we have a company like uh, Bobcat to lead the way in West Fargo. It signifies our investment in not only the community and where we work and where we've been for over 50 years, but in our employees in general. And that's why the Doosan Way uh, really solidifies and, and, and means so much. Inwa is a great example, again, a Korean word uh, that means uh, community and how you work together as a team. People ask me, you know, what changes have you seen in Innovation Accelerated? And I can name a couple. What I'm really interested in is what happens in five, 10, 15 years down the road. But all I know is we've got to put the right infrastructure in place, the right environment, the right facilities, and get the right people to make that a reality.